Now that's Rob Consalvo's music. Now that's Angelo Scotia's music, okay? And folks, uh, I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, you coming out this evening to start Rob's campaign this year for the City Council. Uh, we all know Rob's been there a short period of time, and we want him to uh, continue on in that role for as long as he'd like. Uh, I'll talk. Hello. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about Rob in a second, but I'd like to introduce a couple of fellow politicians uh, that served with Rob and served with me up in the State House. First of all, the President of the Boston City Council, Steve Murphy. By the way, Steve's having a fundraiser next Monday at Pier 4, so if you want to drop by, if you leave a check, he'd be happy too, but that's okay. Uh, a young, young city councilor who has followed his dad uh, in his footsteps, uh, Felix Arroyo. Uh, I heard John Connolly, a city council, was here before, but the weather was too bad, so we had to leave. <laughs> and and last, last but not least, a gentleman who serves with me in his freshman term, serving the community of Mattapan, High Park, Roslindale, and he keeps wanting to steal more and more of High Park from me, Russell Holmes. And we have a candidate, John O'Toole, from District 6, City Council, wherever that is. Rochester, okay. It's in the city of Boston. Uh, folks, once again, uh, thank you for braving the storm. It has not been a nice day, but uh, uh, I always think when rain comes, things grow and things get better. And, and that's, a, that's what I'm going to talk about for a couple of minutes tonight. I want to talk... I want to talk about a young man who has an unbelievable amount of passion. I want to talk about a young man who has made a commitment to this area and to the city as a whole. And I want to talk about a young man who has, in his short few years, a tremendous amount of knowledge. Uh, I wish. I wish the first gentleman that he worked for could be here. He worked for Ted Kennedy for eight years, ten years up in the federal government. Uh, he worked on the state level for eight or ten years, uh, helping the people of this area from that perch. And he has been a city councilor for the last ten years. This gentleman knows federal, state, and city issues like no one else. And because of that knowledge, and he uses it on a daily basis, he makes your life and my life better. Passion, commitment, knowledge. I also want to talk about a young man who's an innovative leader. And I'll just talk about just very briefly two of the things that he has done in a couple of uh, a couple of years ago, one is the short spotter, and the other one's about and the other hey Steve, and the other one's about John's law. Uh, John's law uh, is, is a bill that he passed in the city council where someone who was driving under the influence, we would be allowed to take the gentleman's car away from him so he couldn't continue to drive, and because it was such a success on the city level, he came up to the state house and passed the law up there. Uh, and it was only to protect the individual driving and the possibility of that individual hurting not only himself, but other people that were on the road at that time. So this kid has a, a tremendous amount of innovation comes up with ideas, I don't know where he gets them, day after day after day. And he never stops. 
And I want to talk about a leader with vision, who understands the big issues and, and the issues that, that are not only national, state, and city in scope, but he understands them, and he understands how they affect you. This gentleman hasn't forgotten his roots, but he's learned so much, and he's grown, just like those tomato plants have grown after this rain. He's grown over the years like no young man that I know. And I see great things for this young man in the future. He, he does make Boston better for you and for me. And I am honored to introduce my dear friend, Rob Picard. That was an amazing introduction, Angelo, and um, let me just say that you talked about my previous boss, Senator Kennedy, he was a mentor to me professionally, was my first boss, uh, and I had the privilege of working for him both in Washington and in Boston, uh, but let me say to this crowd here today, you are also a mentor to me, you are more than just a friend, and you are more than just a boss, you are someone that I consider family. And I know that I wouldn't be where I am today without your advice and guidance and without your uh, leadership in showing me how important local government is and what a difference local government can make in this city. He's been in the legislature almost 42 years. He works hard every single day. He's the oldest elected official in the history of the city of Boston. But he's a guy who has never stopped fighting for this community, and I am honored that I had the opportunity to work for you and learn from you and for that great introduction. Also, let me just, I know they will recognize my colleagues on the city council. Council Arroyo, a great new council who's hit the ground running, listens to everything I say and does exactly what I tell him, and that's why we love him. He's doing a great job as one of your four at-large councilors. Councilor Conley was here but had to leave because he's chairing a hearing in City Hall. And also our neighbor and friend and the president of the city council and someone who supports all the initiatives that I put forth, unwavering support to me as a city councilor, our great neighbor and friend, Council President Murphy. I know Russell Holmes was here as well. Russell, if you're in the audience, wherever you are, congratulations on your first term, and thank you. There he is in the back. He's also been a great friend and a great leader in our community as a new state representative. Um, I, I'm honored, and let me just say, I want to just thank the, all my volunteers who put this together. There are so many volunteers that are here today too many to name, but if you're in the audience, please raise your hand and wave. All the volunteers who've worked for months to put this together, a big round of applause, please, for all these guys who are waving. They've been planning this for months, and even with the rain, it didn't deter them. The show must go on, they said. And they, I'm, I'm blessed to have such great friends and supporters who volunteer their time for me to make days like this a reality. Also, my staff, if I may. Uh, my staff, Brian Clinton, Caleb Rowe, David Arini, and Lee Blase, all raise your hand. Bring round of applause for my staff. You all know them. You know how hard they work. You know what a great job they do. And they are tireless advocates for you uh, in the Boston City Council. And i got to tell you, I am blessed to have such a great staff who works so hard for me. Uh, big round of applause for someone who's new to the team but has hit the ground running. Uh, Esmail Ansari, my campaign coordinator, who we brought on to help run the re-election. His first job out of college is helping to get me re-elected. So you've got a lot on your shoulders, Es. We brought Es on full-time because we're serious about running a campaign for re-election. He has done a great job and has really uh, been sort of the glue that's coming to help keep this uh, campaign together. And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize over to my left, your right, my family. My daughter Amanda, my son Anthony, and my son Austin, who's just 17 months. Yay! I'm very lucky to have a wonderful wife who stands by my side day and night, who gives me unwavering support as I do my job as city councilor, who does a pretty good job herself uh, when constituents call our house. And I'll come home and she'll say, you got three phone calls. Uh, the first one was a guy from Madame Pan who called about a streetlight, but I took care of that. I called that in. And then someone from Rosendale called about their sidewalk, but I called 4500 and called that in for you. 
and then some of my pa called about the tree, and that's going to be done because I called the parks department. So I am blessed to have a partner in life who supports me and what I do, but who's wonderful also, who loves this community, and I couldn't do it without her. Uh, my beautiful wife, Michelle, who I love very much. And obviously, at the risk of recognizing everybody that's in the audience, I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to my mother and father over here. Bob and Diane Gonsalvo, right over there, right back. Who gave me so much guidance, advice, and leadership, and will go behind me every step of the way. I love you, Mom and Dad. I wouldn't be here without you either. Thank you for everything. Let me just say, now that I've uh, spent all this time talking, I'm getting already the high sign from my team, and I haven't even started my speech yet. Uh, I'm going to be very brief. I'm going to be brief and to the point, because what I'm about to talk about is the easiest thing for me to talk about. I'm running for re-election to the Boston City Council this September and this November. I'm excited that I'm kicking my campaign off right here tonight in Reedville with friends from all over my district and all over my city because I love my job. I wake up every day hungry than ever to serve the people of my district and the neighborhood that I represent. And I wake up more excited every single morning to continue to make Boston better with my staff and with your help and with the neighbors who are out there that work for us. I love my job and I want to serve two more years as your District 5 Boston City Council. Tonight we kick that campaign off. We are going to run from now until September and then into November as hard as we've ever run. We're going to continue to get out there and door knock. We're going to continue to go out there and hold signs. We're going to go out to your block parties, to your neighborhood associations, to your community meetings. We're going to bring our message to you, and that message is that I want to serve. I want to continue to lead in the city of Boston, and I want to be your voice, Mattapan, Rosendale, Reedville, and Park, in City Hall. I want to be your voice that fights for you on issues like education, public safety, basic city services, making our schools better continuing to fight for our funding from our friends in the state to keep our city running, working with my colleagues and the great fiscal uh, leadership of Council Murphy and having strong oversight of our budget so we have a strong foundation to keep our fiscal uh, issues intact, working with our mayor uh, who does a great job and who someone works side by side with us to keep fighting for the issues you care about. I'm running for re-election because I want the job more than I ever have. I love making Boston better and I'm going to continue to make sure that you have the strongest most effective, most reliable voice as your district city council and city hall. I started nine years ago telling you that I would work day and night for you. I said you could call me in the morning, you could come to my house, and we would have office hours. I even opened a district office here in Hyde Park because I'm committed to making myself more and more and more available and accessible to you so that I can help you solve your problems. Together with your help, with your support, with your uh, activism in the next six months, I will be re-elected to the Boston City Council and we will be able to continue to work with my colleagues in government, to work with our mayor, to continue to fight for the issues that we care about. Not just here in District 5, but all over this city. We, we may, I know we mentioned that our friend candidate for council, John O'Toole, is in the audience. He's here from Dorchester because we all share the same vision in every neighborhood of the city. We want safer streets. We want clean streets. Whether you live in East Boston, Mattapan, Hyde Park, Austin, Brighton, or downtown, you want a safe, clean city that you can raise your family in, you can work here, and you can come visit here. And together, with my colleagues in government, and with all of you, and with your help getting me re-elected this November, I am going to be that strong and effective voice for you in City Hall. And I can tell you as I approach my 10th year on the City Council, I'm not slowing down. I'm getting even hungrier. I want more work. I want more responsibility. And I want more constituent service, more problems, more ability to help the people of my district. I'm getting hungrier every day. And I tell you honestly from the bottom of my heart, when I wake up each and every morning, I'm excited that the first thing I can do when I get out of bed is help somebody. I think it's the greatest thing that you can do in public life. There's nothing wrong with it. Despite what you read in the newspapers, despite what you hear on TV, despite all the attacks on public employees, and those of us who serve in government, and all my colleagues and friends who work for the city and the state out here, public service is noble and good. And we're out there fighting every single day to make people's lives better. We have a strong city, a strong state. I'm proud to see you with you. And with your help, I'll be a re-elected in November. Thank you all very, very much.